today we have a community member here on DevTips, Ricardo Passionotto, and he is a, a really big contributor actually to the uh, to the artist theme that we've been working on for the past few months. Say hello, Ricardo. Hi there. So uh, the reason that this is a special episode is because we have been uh, kind of dealing with a frustrating topic uh, behind the scenes, and that is that uh, Jekyll updated a few things that we were relying on and kind of, as a result, broke the, uh, the build that we were working on. So let me show you what we have here. Um, if you're looking at my screen, you can see the artist theme right here. And you can't see this, Ricardo, but I'm just showing them my screen. And then uh, everything looks good. And let me show you on my console, uh, Jekyll. Oh, actually, let me quit the Jekyll. OK, Jekyll uh, slash V. We can see that I'm running version 2.0.3. Now I'm going to update that to um, sudo gem install. Jekyll. So now we're updated to Jekyll 2.2. I'll run Jekyll again. And when I refresh my browser, there are some issues. Namely, this background image is not to be seen here, and neither is the avatar here. Now, the reason for this is because we were, we were using this really awesome data file to define the background image and the logo, and also yeah. um, the avatar right here on line 25, and then again on the yeah. logo on 9 and 10. And now the new version of Jekyll doesn't respect that. It doesn't allow us to, to take these variables inside of Jekyll and put them into our SAS. They stopped doing that, and I went on the forums and yes, I, they they no longer support uh, the conversion. Right. So you you have a you have a syntax inside the um, SAS, uh, a liquid syntax inside the SAS, but uh, um, the gem that previously uh, compiled that liquid syntax inside the SAS file no longer uh, exist, uh, exists. Right. So for the past like maybe three or four weeks, I've been asking everybody to, to don't update their Jekyll, stay with version 2.0.3 until we can circle back and get this taken care of. And that's what we're doing today. So this has like been a weight on my shoulders for like the past nearly a month and I'm just, I'm just ready to get it off of my shoulders. And so Ricardo it has been working with me on this and he has a really, really uh, brilliant workaround and, and then I'm going to share another alternative option, and then we'll talk about how, that, how we're going to move forward. So, Ricardo, would you explain to everybody the uh, workaround that you've devised? Uh, basically, uh, with uh, Grunt.js. With Grunt.js? Um, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, with Grunt, uh, I talked that uh, if we uh, leave uh, the the liquid inside the SAS and uh, uh, we um, we use grant to compile that SAS in a CSS okay mm -hmm. and we use uh, strings in SAS so if we use string the liquid uh, syntax inside SAS will be compiled in CSS but uh, it isn't converted because there is a no there is no compilation uh, that is done uh, with Jekyll, so we create a CSS file uh -huh. with the liquid nested inside. After we we obtain our CSS file, and uh, after that with Jekyll, we compile that uh, CSS file or global CSS file uh, with the nested uh, liquid that uh, will compiled in uh, our, uh, actually, with the, the content inside our settings.yaml. Uh, okay. This is uh, how it works. Right. Here we, you can see that uh, um, in um, some parts uh, or in, uh, in some chunks of the file, the, there is the liquid syntax here. 
mm -hmm. that is nested inside and uh, it is not uh, compiled yet and at the start of the file uh, way up there's the front matter when it compiles that file through jacu uh, the liquid syntax will be compiled so uh, oh geez. here we here we obtain the the url to our uh, uh, log. All right. And that's it. Can you show us how to install Grant? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I'll, let me show you my desktop. So, uh, um, my forked repository at my master. Um, here you have uh, all the setup uh, with Grant. And uh, when I clone it uh, to my desktop, and uh, I have here, um, uh, through NPM, okay, uh, which is uh, um, already installed because uh, is a prerequisite of uh, Jacob. Um, inside NPM. the project folder, you see a package.json, and we can find it here. So with that uh, um, node packet uh, npm loads uh, all the dependency, and uh, in my case there is a grant uh, and also all the tasks that I use in my grant file. After uh, cloning uh, the, the, repos the repository uh, to your desktop or to your or wherever you want, so uh, if you run npm install. Okay. He uh, he find the, the package of JSON and loads uh, and loads up uh, all the dependency. So actually, uh, it is uh, downloading uh, Grant and also the other stuff, uh, all other tasks. So you write npm install and it will find any package.json and and download the dependencies. Yes, that's cool. Uh, in in your part in your project, uh, you have to have uh, only one package uh, dot JSON. That sounds Not easy to, enough. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And so uh, with my grant file, now uh, before I I, I write uh, uh, Jack serve and uh, wv. Um, now I can. Grant server, and actually it starts a server, and also it is watching uh, the changes in my files. It will create a, a, a server uh, which uh, points to uh, uh, my my port uh, nine thousand, and after that uh, he. Uh, Grant is still watching for changing in my project. Mm -hmm. So um, for now, if I go to localhost, it's lo it load up uh, my uh, my project, as you can see here. Okay. And if I make a change, I don't know. Uh, in words, uh, anywhere. Uh, no, I add a line. If I save, actually, a grant uh, will will be not uh, notified uh, about the, uh, the change and uh, will compile all over again. All right, that's good. That's good. That way, you can keep those uh, variables stored in the data settings .yaml. Yeah, that's what this whole thing is about. Cool. With yeah, yeah I, th I think that's a very uh, viable solution. Um, I want to do another one as well with the rest of the Dev Tips audience, and I want to do um, where we put the variables back into the SAS, and and I'll maintain that one. And what we want to do is we want to have your branch uh, be the the destination for the Grunt version of the artist theme. Is that right? Yes. Okay. 
that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, thanks for your time. Uh, Ricardo, is there anything else you wanted to say? Um, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, no pressure. It was awesome to, to be here <laughs> with you. It's like a live, uh, a live video with you, <laughs> <laughs> a live preview. <laughs> so it's so cool. <laughs> and even it's, uh, uh, it's cool uh, to know that you are, uh, um, in another uh, uh, side of the world, and uh, I'm uh, here in Italy. You are he there, uh, and I think uh, near San Francisco. I don't know. Yeah. So you just woke up, right? Like it's six o'clock in the morning where you're at. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, and I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> So thank you so much for uh, rolling out of bed early for us this morning. It's a, we really appreciate um, not only just showing up on the show today, but also the, the a lot of the work that you're putting into the artist theme and the help that you're giving to everybody through your experience with Grunt. It's really awesome. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure for me. All right. Really. All right. Well, uh, have a good rest of the day, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, go t take a nap myself. <laughs> Okay, we just saw Ricardo's uh, process, and he is going to be kind of maintaining that, uh, that approach to things. And I'm going to simplify things a little bit and revert back to the approach of having the, the images and paths defined in the style sheets and the content, like the paragraphs and skills, contained in the settings.yaml. I'll show you what I'm doing right now before I go to bed. So right here, I have the current artist theme as rendered by Jekyll 2.2. And we're noticing that the big uh, hero image and my avatar are not showing up. Now, they are defined in my settings.yaml, and they're defined as such. Logo, background image, and then down here, Travatar. So I want to kind of comment these out. Uh, and in YAML, you do that with a pound symbol. And I'm going to make a line here to say that the logo and background image are defined in the all.sass document. And then I want us to have that similar message to the avatar here. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to that all.sass, and this is the settings that has already been set up. And right now we're trying to pull it in from that YAML. I'm going to fix that by just putting the paths to the various logos and images directly in here. So this is going to be logo.svg. This is going to be um, hero, um, bg hero, I think dot jpeg and this is going to be travitar dot jpeg all right and then um, let's refresh here and see what we get the travitar is back and the header is not but the logo is fine did I have that name wrong let's go back to my settings it was hero background not background hero Okay. Hero dash BG. Save and refresh. And refresh. And refresh. Not jog. What am I doing? It's JPEG. Okay. Now refresh. Okay, cool. So we are in good game right now. Uh, everything is looking fantastic and wonderful. Again, with the current uh, version of Jekyll 2.2. So uh, this is all fixed, and finally we can move along. I'm so happy about that. Thanks everybody for watching this video. It's a short one, I know, but also I have a treat for you. I made another video for PHP Academy, which you can find in the link of the description 
of, of this video here. But today is such a great video because we're finally updated and running with Jekyll uh, 2.2. Such a weight off my shoulders. I suggest that you check out the branch of the artist theme that Ricardo maintains. A link again is in the description below if you want to see uh, Grunt in action. This main branch will not be using Grunt, but we'll keep it simple by keeping the variables in the SAS like I just showed you. If you like this video, please share it with your friend. If you are new to DevTips, please subscribe because we do a new video every Monday. Now, this is a special video to me because it's the one of the first ones where we've had a contributor on the channel to talk about the things that they're doing on dev tips and the way that they're helping you guys as viewers out who are interested in, in this project as it develops so it's pretty cool to me now also I have another few videos coming up hopefully uh, shorter ones to just kind of catch up on this backlog of pull requests that I have because I kind of ignored everything until we were done with the work section and now that we're done I want to show more of the cool things that you guys as a community are contributing and I'll have those coming up hopefully like in the middle of the week or, or early next week. So that's it for this video. Everybody remember to keep on hacking.